Hello everyone, my name is Rutika Mutra and I'm an associate at Dailies. The Maharashtra State Human Rights Commission recently ordered the payment of Rs 2.5 lakh as compensation to a Nagpur-based advocate and her husband for police harassment. The case also prompted the Commission to direct the State's Director General of Police to hold periodical seminars to sens sensitize police officers. Commission member M.A. Saeed also criticized the Nagpur Police Commissioner for not taking action against four errant police officers. Accordingly, the Commission directed the four police officers to jointly pay a compensation of Rs. 2,50,000 to the advocate and her husband within a period of six weeks. It added the couple was at liberty to launch a criminal prosecution against the police officers as well. Pertinently, the Commission noted that there were an alarming rise in such incidents at police stations. Therefore, it asked the DGP Maharashtra to initiate seminars periodically at the divisions for the sensitization of the police force in order to focus on developing a sense of responsibility and courtesy in dealing with citizens and victims who look at them as protectors of law. Nagpur based lawyer Ankita Makheja and her husband Lesh had moved the commission through advocate Rizwan Siddiqui seeking action against police officials for illegal detention and harassment. The couple alleged that instead of registering their complaint, the police illegally detained them and harassed them physically and mentally. The commission, however, questioned why criminal action was not initiated against the officers under the IPC, particularly when the senior officer had concluded that there was misconduct on their part. Meanwhile, the officers invoked Section 300 of the Code of Criminal Procedure to argue that no further action should be taken against them since they had already faced departmental action. The plea was, however, rejected. Departmental action would not bar criminal prosecution, it ruled. Unless a person has been convicted or acquitted in a criminal offence, the question of double jeopardy would not rise, the Commission explained.